Hey everybody, Spencer here. Um, I, this little webinar I wanted to do for how to calibrate your monitor because I've been getting a lot of uh, questions and emails about this. I go over this in my elements class and everybody's not too sure what to do. So I thought I would go ahead and just do a quick little video on this. You'll notice at the top of my screen, I've got this little red square. That's the software that I'll show you here in a minute is telling me that it's out of calibration my four weeks is up so I do mine every four weeks so it's basically telling me I need to do it so that's why I kind of wanted to do this while it needed to be done so you guys could see exactly how to do it now I'm using the i1 display pro from xrite the other company is uh, data color they have a what's called a spider you can use that as well but I just wanted to show you exactly what I'm using so if I go here to products i1 solutions i1 display pro now i've used this for a few years not had any problems with it i'm running obviously on the mac that'll work on the pc as well but basically this is going to calibrate your monitor whether it's a desktop monitor or a laptop i'm actually doing this on my 15 inch macbook pro and this also has a little lens in it so it's going to check to see uh, this is actually what's going to look at the monitor the physical glass to see if it, you know what's going on this will also do projectors so if you're going to be part of a club or photo club anything like that and you're going to have to judge photos and you need to, need to make sure that they are correct then in that case you want to definitely make sure that the projectors are calibrated or else the judges may not see the accurate color all right so now we're going to go to the actual calibration so i'll show you how that works we're going to walk through this so i'm going to go ahead and um, all you need to do is come up here to this little square or you can go to the actual um, actually I don't have it loaded in my dock right now it's in my applications folder so you could usually go to go applications or if you're on the PC you can go to your C drive and then to your programs folder but what's nice and up here on Mac they put it on top if you're on, on Windows they put it down here in the bottom in your tray is if you just click on the little red a little red square you can go down here to launch i1 profiler that's the actual software once you have it installed all right so this is the software over here you've got all these different things you can do now if it says demo that means probably that the device is not plugged in or you don't have this uh, you didn't buy the what they do is they give you the software for like the three and four thousand dollar tools and then whatever device, the actual hardware piece you buy, unlocks certain features of the software, if that makes sense. So down here you see it says licensing, and I got all these question marks. So I'm actually going to plug in that device in my USB port here, and it should unlock it once it recognizes it here. All right, let's see if it's gonna work. There it goes. Okay, so you can see it's green and it's going to allow me to do these three things here. Um, these it will not allow me to do because obviously I don't have that capability with this particular product. But that's fine. All I need is the actual display to be calibrated. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to display profiling. All right, now when you start looking at this, it looks more like a you know scientific schematic and that can be little little interesting so I'm we're gonna walk through this let me zoom in on the screen here all right and so the first thing it's going to ask you is what your display and technology type is that sounds very scientific technology type so you have a bunch of options here now I'm using a Mac and I using this white LED how did I know that um, I called x <laughs> So for this, we definitely want the white LED for if you're using Apple products. If you're using something else and you're not sure, I would call x right and then they can easily tell you, oh, you need this one or that one or whichever. So white LED is the one we want for us. All right, so white point, uh, for my particular setup, I have it set up for native. If you find that your prints are not coming out is clean as they should be in other words you get a little bit of a color cast you might want to try this d65 and that is basically daylight so 
Try native first and see if that works. And same thing with illuminance. Well, actually, illuminance we're going to change here. Now I'm assuming you're going to eventually going to be going to print. It's going to be going to paper. So here's the secret number you want, this 80 Candelas. Um, for example, Apple, when they come out with their monitors, they're beautiful, but they are just way too bright for printing. So I tell it I want 80, and that's going to make sure that the monitor is actually going to, the brightness is going to be a little bit less. So it's going to force me to open up my images a little bit so that they print properly. So if you have images that are printing too dark, this is probably the problem. I believe it or not, your monitor is too bright. All right, so down here, this tone response curve, I just leave that alone. This gamma thing, I leave that alone. Um, right here, just profile based on my ambient light. Uh, I basically don't mess with that either. And my computer, my workstation is kind of near a window, but the window is a little, is a little bit away, so it shouldn't be a problem if you're working literally right next to a window or something like that it might give you a problem so you might need that all right so i'm gonna go ahead and click down here we got the house which is home or the next one is next next one is next there you go let me get back here all right so now we've got it's just telling you the instrument that you have is this i1 display pro then down here if you like for example again i'm working on my apple laptop it has its own brightness and contrast settings. So I'm going to let i1 figure out how to adjust it to get that 80 candelas for me. If you don't have this set up, you can do the manually option and then just use your buttons on your physical monitor. But since this is all built in, I can let it do it. All right. Over here is the patches. So you'll see they're all solid colors right now. These are actually all the colors that it's going to going to go ahead and measure. And then down here, you've got this button that says Start Measurement. And they're pretty good. So this is all step by step. They tell you exactly what, what you need to do. So here it's telling me I need to actually flip this little fl uh, plastic piece around. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once you do that, it takes you to the next screen. It's basically saying, OK, put this on your monitor and make it sure that it's sitting flat on the screen. So obviously, you guys can't see this, but I'm place that gizmo right on the right on the monitor like so and once that's done you can click OK and then you just go over here we're going to click next in this box so what's going to do first is it's going to you're going to see the screen's going to get brighter darker um, shades of gray all this kind of good stuff and basically it's trying to hit that 80 candelas for us this is that automatic display control which is nice once it's done with this, it's going to start flashing colors. Uh, it, it used to be like 300 patches. Now it seems like they're giving us less and less. Must be the technology that they're using is getting better and better. So, you know, let's say this is maybe 50 patches or something like that. Um, but as you can see, now it's going to start sh showing us the different shades of color. So it's checking to make sure that the <clears throat> proper red that it's showing is the red that the monitor is showing is going to match up with the database profiles. If it's not, it's going to create a little um, a, a little adjustment, and it's going to. And all this is going to, all going to be wrapped up into what they call a display profile, which you're going to see how to save here in a minute. So this takes roughly two minutes. It's not, you know, it's not going to take forever. So you could actually set this up. You know, go get you a cold drink and then come back and then it'll be finished ready for the next step. So I'll go ahead and I'll pause this and then we will come back when it's all done. Okay, so we're back and the process is finished and now it's basically telling us to go ahead and take this off of our screen and we're going to flip that piece of plastic around. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that real quick. All right. And now it's just saying, you know, if you're going to do the ambient um, ambient measurement you can just leave this right next to right next to the computer so we're going to skip that because we're, we're not doing that today all right so if you look at our patches you'll see that they're kind of divided in half and one looks different than the other on each of these little squares I'll zoom in on this so the one side is the original 
and then the other side is what the monitor was actually showing. So you can see how far off this was. So that's a good thing we're doing this. So if I come down here, I'm just going to click on Next. Now it's going to come up with a name. In this case, file name is set to color LCD on mine. I don't change this because well, you'll see why in a second. Now down here where it says uh, profile distribution, in this case um, it does not allow me to put it system because I'm the only administrator on this computer, so I just do user level, that's fine. Profile reminder, now you have a bunch of choices in here. I'm assuming for you know us average people, nobody's doing commercial printing out there. If you are, you might want to do one week, but if you're uh, just a photographer and you're just you know doing photography and it, you're not in commercial printing then choose four weeks so you want to do this at least once a month because these monitors they do drift and shift over time so at least every four weeks do it all right so this ambient uh, monitoring mode I'm just going to leave that off and over here on the right hand side it says click the button below to begin creating your, your profile. Okay, so here's create and save profile. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now this is why I didn't change the name. I'm just, I constantly keep over, overriding the old one because there's no sense having a bunch of these things in there and, you know, just clogging up the computer. So I just say, it says, do you want to, or exist, do, this particular profile exists, do you want to override it? Uh, yes, please. So go ahead and do that. This little box comes up, it may not come up if you're on Windows, basically it's saying that this has to run uh, in the background, that's fine, so we'll just click OK. Alright, so over, now we've got a picture here. This guy looks very, uh, very intimidating. But you can choose any of these pictures that's on here and you get that by this little person icon that's right here. So if you want to check to see if you're like working with like a lot of whites um, then of course you have there's your grays your mid-tones and there's this fun looking gentleman again so anyway so you can go through here and look at these different images and they'll show you what it's going to look like now over here on the right we have the before and after so if I click on before I don't know if you guys can see it shift but it did shift and then there's after now this isn't terrible because I've it wasn't that far off because it was already calibrated four weeks ago. But you'll notice a big difference when you get your new machine and then you do this for the first time. It's it's amazing what it will do. So again, there's before, there's after. So it did clean up a little bit of the uh, the white balance and some of the um, just general tone of her hair and things. So that's good. All right, so then when we're done with that, you just click the little house, home, and that's it. So then you can go ahead and quit out of this, but you will notice before we do, it's happy again because our square is now green. And it will stay green for the next four weeks until it's time to do it again. Then it will turn red, letting you know that it needs to be done again. So that's really all there is to it. It's not too bad once you do it a couple times. It's pretty, uh, it pretty, goes pretty quick. Again, it only takes you about um, two, two minutes of your life a month. And all you have to do is once this is done, is you just restart the computer. And when it reboots, it will automatically update the um, monitor profile. And what you see is it's ready to go. So you, at least you know your colors and everything when you're working in Photoshop, Elements, Lightroom, whatever program you're working in is going to be the correct color. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks a lot.